Welcome back to some Akuma MC Skyblock. Today, we are going to be heading into our quest and we are going to be going into the fishing world. Now, I've already checked out this world before in past seasons, but I want to see if it's made any changes. I've been FKing only a little bit on here. I've been prioritizing prisons a little bit, but we do have one of these in here. Literally one. It takes so long. I mean, we are almost to a second one, but it still takes so long long i'm gonna buy even more witch spawners or i guess sorry let me rephrase that i'm gonna buy uh a, a few witch spawn three witch spawners i do have some things to open as well in my pv i'm gonna go ahead and do the pet eggs but i'll save the rest of it for later i also haven't placed these guys i guess which is fine i'm not too worried about it i just realized i should have activated my my book pet i should actually upgrade my book pet i just realized it is in fact legendary did i buy one I get one? I, I really can't remember. Oh, you can straight up buy a level 5 of these scrolls. Dude, that's actually kind of awesome. Unreal. And we can buy a Guardian Spawner. That's 2 million gems. I kind of want to save for that at some point. I didn't realize that. Do they not have block buckets anymore? Interesting. I guess that makes sense. We have generators now, which are new, but... And I guess other ways that we can get uh, block tickets, but they just got rid of the block buckets in general. That kind of sucks. Hey, I am now Wheat Mastery Level 1. That means I will actually be able to set up a potato farm. Let's go ahead and warp fishing. <clears throat> I meant do slash fishing. So this is all of the stuff you can catch in this which is actually super awesome there's different weights and stuff and there's different rarities you can see common uh rare legendary mythical and masterful fish all that sell and i have different sizes and sell for more so this guy can also fish for you but i don't remember how he works oh it's right he just kind of generates money as you're in the area maybe or on the sir i think in the area he also has quests that can go with him like catch 500 fish enchant bait to level two which basically means complete either of these quests i'm pretty sure and also catch 25 common fish so i'm gonna catch some fish now um it does take a while that's my only thing i'm never a big fan of fishing there's been i think one server that has shown me fishing that i actually enjoyed i actually can't remember what server it was it's actually not that good of money Maybe early on, it's, like, really good, but for what I have, it's just not that good. Oh, you know what I should do? Question is, do I want skills? Or do I want books from this? Probably books. I also just realized an another mistake that I made. I have a Holy Harpoon pet, which I'm gonna go ahead and activate, because this will increase the speed at which, uh, the speed at which I fish. And I'm gonna level it up a bit. So, now, this guy's level, uh, 11 still. I guess I didn't level up, and he's level 17 with a 4.20% chance! Oh my god! I don't know why I can't hear the water very well, but I just can't. Like, there's no splashing. Is that, like, a server thing? They just decided to take away the water splashing? Because that's a little weird. That was a legendary fish. That was worth a thousand. That's actually pretty damn good. Except for the fact that I have millions, so it's kind of not that good. Oh, turbo fishing. Oh, dude, I messed up. Damn it. Turbo fishing is so good. All you have to do is cast your rod and immediately pull it back, and uh, uh, for the duration of it, you get... I keep thinking it's splashing. Uh, you get just fish every time. It's amazing. Hey, and we're done! 64 Enderman spawners. 64, huh? <gasps> Ultimate skill level 4! Like, it's been a while since I've looked at this. This gets insane, right? So, obviously, there's a lot of, like, things a lot around this that are, like, you know, decent stuff to use for the season. Once you get about here, one weekly cluster, which is absolutely amazing. But 325 total levels is insane. Then down here, we've got another weekly cluster. A, another weekly cluster. We've got ourselves another weekly cluster. And also another weekly cluster. And a $20 store uh, coupon credit, which is actually insane when you think about it. Our next quest is Fishing Novice. Get your fishing skill to level 5. Okay, well, then let's make a... Let's not make a change here. Are you actually even active? Yeah, you are. It is a, a mythical enchant. I feel like I can't pass up on that. Do I have space for two more mining robots on my island? I don't actually know. Essentially, all I have to do is this. Put my guys down. They'll automatically be facing the right way. Break those. And then all I have to do is just link them into the chest. Now, I don't know how much Tsunami is going to proc. But I'm hoping we can at least see it proc once. Because that would honestly be amazing. I also need to keep more of an eye on this. Because I keep, like, looking over towards here. And then, like, seeing it bob up and down. And I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, it's doing the thing. No, it's not. Okay, so I think I'm at, what, three and a half about on this level? And we need five. That's gonna take a minute. I think the better fish we get, actually definitely the better fish we get, the better, or the more experience we get. So that's good. Um, that makes it a little bit faster. The only thing is, I don't think I'm getting very lucky. I think this would actually be really good money if we had a better rod. Like, if I had a maxed out rod, this would be 
absolutely insane. I'm sorry, did I did I just say I caught Thick George? The hell is Thick George? That's a fish? You're telling me that was only worth a thousand? High weight Thick George worth 1.03 thousand? Didn't I catch a legendary worth more than that? I caught a legendary, a silverfin shark, 19.50 kg, 1.24k. I guess rarity doesn't mean shit. Uh, for some reason, Thick George is cheap as fuck. Yo, and we are done with our quest. We got ourselves two money pouches. Oh, and two, five fishing books? I was gonna say two. I don't know why I was gonna say two. And it gives us a free dungeon key. That's nice. I will save these for the future, and maybe I'll actually do some fishing to try and test out these enchants. We've got Poseidon, we've got Tsunami that we need to test and everything. So my quest is to start a dungeon run. The only thing is... Yeah, okay, it's dungeons, specifically. Okay, I was like, why is it not taking me here? Hey, man, let's go to the dungeon. I'm just gonna start it on my own because I don't actually want to bring people in. Now, these will give us healing, but we're not too worried about right them right now because we obviously don't have any damage taken. So we're just gonna, we're gonna ignore them for now. I want to say the last time I did this, I had lag. Did I? I can't remember. Rambo, healer, and I think that was priest, but I accidentally flicked and clicked it. My god, aim labs. Noble, gladiator, and shadow. Now... To my knowledge, you need, I think, like, ten of each piece. A boss fight already, huh? Ten of each piece. Uh, let's activate... Peasant power-up? I think it is this one. You need ten of each piece, and I think you need the sword as well. Or maybe the sword's separate. I'm not 100% certain. Okay, I just gotta actually wait for him to land, I, th I think. Or keep him near the tree. The tree seems to be doing really well, because he can't, like, land on me. He just keeps, like, hitting things, and I just hit him. Wow. That is actually cheese. Another boss fight. That doesn't seem right. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot he had other attacks, you know, it's not just the slam. Ow, uh, owie, uh, stop it! I actually just had a great idea. Because of my FPS and stuff and how smooth Minecraft feels, this also could be a good idea, uh, or a bad, sorry, good idea, a bad idea. Um, I kind of want to try a stream where I essentially do, uh, a YouTube stream over obviously here, uh, and play some Minecraft stuff with you guys, if you guys are interested. It'll probably be some, like, Hypixel and stuff like that. I kind of want to do Bed Wars. I haven't done Bed Wars in so long. So the coins can be used after the fact to buy stuff, but to be honest with you, it takes a long time to actually get enough to buy anything. Like, did they nerf this shit? It feels so much easier. This feels so- I'm, I'm already in rooms. So I had two bosses. Noble, Healer, Rambo. I had two bosses at the start, and this feels way too easy still. Please die! Do I have strength? No, 22 seconds! Oh my god, you're actually beating me up a little bit. I mean, not really, but like, kinda. These guys are getting a little more violent, I don't like it. It's kinda scary. They're actually just kinda like, strafing around me, and like, kinda trying to surround me, and I, I don't really like it. Maybe in the future, I'll do more dungeon runs where I actually try to see how far I can go. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun to try. Now we die because it is time. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta at least do this. This is the other, like, variant of the rooms you get. There are things that'll spawn in that'll try and stop me from breaking this. And if you click fast enough, you can probably get through this very quickly. In fact, actually, can I just, like... There you guys are. Uh, hey. Okay, you got some reach, which I don't really like, but that's fine because I'm gonna destroy this very easily. Bye. I'm ready to succumb to fate. Take me. Take my soul. You guys are weak. So you can see, for 1,500 coins, we can actually buy five times Tempest Keys, which is pretty damn good. I think we have that. We can also buy XP levels. Oh, mining robots, grinding robots, epic airdrops, a tag, which I think I already have, legendary and mythical auto cell chest, ultimate airdrop, and the weekly cluster for 100,000 coins. I don't know how many I ended up with in the end. That's a little unfortunate, but I hope it was a good amount. Oh, right. I never edited my settings. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Change of plans, because this is actually going to take way too long if I do this. I'm just going to open up the Tempest Keys and maybe the Storm Keys. It's also going to take too long for these ones. Uh, I've decided... I think I'm just going to do this later. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Our first one. What do we get? Money, 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 token key, or, uh, cloud keys, and Tempest Keys. God, token keys. That's Those were the days. 16 mo- Oh, wait. Wait, 16 mining robots? All right, well, our last BK cluster, what do we get? We got storm keys, tempest keys, tempest keys, tempest keys, and a random bag, and a VK cluster. All right. Money, 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 tempest keys, enderman spawners, so basically money, and 192 villager spawners. I think that means that next time, it is officially time for me to build my six chunk 
spawner. Now, I'm not 100% certain if I can do six chunks at this moment, because if you check our island, island perks, I have not made any progress in these whatsoever. I have an idea of what I want to do. I'm going to work on that next time. Uh, it's going to be super awesome. But this is where I'm going to go and end this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you didn't, you haven't yet, go down below, leave a like on this one, subscribe for more, and make sure you join the server. All the information is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.